Oh hey, how's it going? So today I'm going to show you how to add text into your moving video so the text stays still. And let's just say it's pretty bitchin'. Yeah. So let's do this thing. Let's do it. Alright, so we're going to hop into Adobe Premiere Pro. I've already started a new project called Text and Video Tutorial. We're going to go ahead and open that up. Once we get into the project, we are going to import our clip that we want to add the text to. I'm going to make this kind of short and sweet, or try to at least. Um, drag and drop to create your sequence on your timeline and then go to the part where you want to add the text into. So right here, I'm just going to grab a small section. I'm not going to add audio or anything into it. We're just going to add text just to show you an idea, and then you guys can take it from there. So I'm going to just drag this to the beginning of the timeline. And we're going to just do a small portion of it. And what we want to do from here, so kind of choose a spot where you want to put the text in the video. So right here looks pretty good for me, how I set it up. So I can just lay the text on the table. I can even put it back here if I wanted to, or just really anywhere on top of the monitor, wherever you want to put it, whatever kind of shot that you took and you want to put into the scene. And then once you have it in Premiere Pro, you created your sequence in your, pro your project, we're going to right click it and replace it with an After Effects composition. So what we're really going to be doing with the text is working in After Effects. I'll go back and forth between After Effects and Premiere Pro so it keeps everything linked together. So when we get into Adobe After Effects, we're going to just name this text and save it it should automatically import your video clip into Adobe After Effects. Once you're in here and you have your clip that you want to use, you're gonna see over here on this right side is Tracker. Um, tracker is tracking points in the camera where you can apply a text or an object to and it'll stay still as the camera's moving. Obvi obviously this shot that I have here is on a tripod just making it easy. Tracking the camera will let you be able to put those 3D texts into your moving shots as well without it moving with the video. It's gonna be in the screen as the video is moving. You wanna to go to Window and make sure Tracker is selected. If it's already selected, it should pop up over here on your right side panel. You wanna select your video clip and then say Track Camera. And this is usually gonna take a while depending on how long your video clip is um, or the resolution of it so once this is done we'll get right back to editing all right so once the tracker is done you're going to notice all these points throughout the video you can scroll through your clip that you had tracked and just grab a point that sticks throughout the video I'm gonna choose this point right here because that one stayed throughout the video for the most part create a text so I'm gonna create a text off of that and I'm gonna double click it and just say test. I'm gonna go to transform. I'm gonna scale this down because it's just a little too big. And then I'm gonna position it where I want to, which is right here, position. You can move it back and forth. Move it back onto the desk, move it down, however you want it to sit. And then the X and Y, I'm gonna change the Y to kind of give it that tilt, tilt it a little bit, and then I'm gonna use the X to bring it down just a little bit, and then I'm gonna go back to position, and right here I'm gonna move it, set it back. There we go, so we're just gonna work with that. So we have, just have test. If you wanna change the color of the text as well, just double click on it again, and go over here to the right side, and choose whatever color you want to use. We're just gonna stick with white for right now. And that is basically it. So once you have that in there, it should stay 
with the video and it shouldn't move. It'll stay in the actual video itself. This is just a basic overview on how to do it. And after that, that's pretty much it. If you wanna spice it up a little bit, give it kind of just like that depth or that 3D look, go up to this renderer and cha change it to uh, Ray Trace 3D down here at the bottom, say okay and go into geometry options down here in the bottom right underneath your test or your text or whatever. Go to the extrusion depth and we're just gonna add 10 for the extrusion depth and what that is is gonna give it that 3D thickness. In order to see that, you're gonna wanna add a layer, add a light. We're just gonna add a white light because we want that color, that white color on the front still because I just want a white text. So we're just gonna add a white light and we're gonna move it around until it lights up the test. And to make sure you have the light in the proper spot, you're gonna want to go into your text and under your transform, you wanna see where this third position is sitting. So right now it's sitting at negative 4,000. So for the spotlight, I want to go into transform and make sure that position is sitting at more than negative or less I guess I should say than negative 4000 and it should start lighting that text up as you see right there and then you can position it wherever you want it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shrink this down back down again and I'm gonna just make the circle smaller and then just change the position. Just kind of go back and forth if you want to scale that circle down so it's not covering the entire screen. Just go back and forth and then it should start lighting it up once you go past that negative 4,000. I'm just gonna make that circle small so it's easier to work with. And then I'm gonna position this where I want it. I'm gonna have the light pointed from this angle and pointed this way. And you'll see now that I added the light into this, that extrusion depth, so if you go back to your text and you adjust that extrusion, extrusion depth, extrusion depth, if you adjust that a little bit more, you'll see that it gets thicker and thicker. So I'm not gonna go too overboard with it, but I'll just maybe add 15 and it gives it that like 3D thickness. But there you have it. There is the test video. The text stays in the video pretty smooth and it doesn't move around. Depending on what point you choose, that could affect how that text reacts. There you go. That's how to add text in your video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Boop.